Should Nottingham Forest walk away from the Dean Henderson deal? Now, it's been well reported, obviously, since the end of last season, and obviously since he got injured as well, back in January, I think it was, that Forest have always wanted to sign Dean Henderson on the permanent deal if they stayed in the Premier League. And a lot of us did think it would be a straightforward deal. Some thought it would be a complicated deal. And it is turning out to be the latter one at the moment. So... We wanted to sign him permanently because we stayed in the league. Uh, Navas obviously was on loan from January to the end of the season. He's now gone back to PSG. I don't think Forrest are going to pursue that one anymore, whether that be permanent or another loan deal. Forrest are putting the feelers out and looking at other goalkeepers from abroad and in Europe. And a few of them catch our eyes, some of them don't. I'm not going to go into that in this video. I can do a separate video on different transfer talk if you like. Um, but specifically, this one is about Dean Henderson. But just before we get into it, drop a like on the video and also subscribe. I'm nearly a thousand subscribers and trying to get there before the new season. So thank you. But anyway, so the thing that is apparently holding the Dean Henderson deal up isn't even a Forest thing. It's a Man United thing with David De Gea. So David De Gea and Man U sat down multiple times last year to discuss contract terms because his contract was ending. They agreed on a deal. They both signed it and apparently Man U then pulled out of the deal. But now I think Man U are panicking that they can't get a goalkeeper and they're interested in Onana and Diogo Costa. Um, but I think they want a goalkeeper in before they let um, Dean Henderson go. And it's either they bring one of them in or they sort the contract situation out with De Gea to let Henderson go. Uh, I don't think there's much of a chance as Henderson staying at United and trying to fight to become their number one. I think he's fell out with Ten Hag. I don't think many people at the club like him anymore with some of his comments he made last year when he joined us. Um, so I think Henderson is set on leaving United. I think he wants to come to Forest. Um, the fee has been thrown around from anywhere between 15 and 30 million. Uh, so he can't really trust a fee. I would say about 20, 25 million will get the deal done. And I think it will be a good signing for Forest if he can get it over the line. A permanent young goalkeeper, 20, what, 25, 26, whatever he is. England international. All he needs is a bit of form. He could fight for his spot into there. And um, it's a good deal for Forrest, but they have to get it over the line. They have to push United's buttons and see him, see how long it's going to take. United did the same thing with James Garner last year. So Forrest had him on loan. They wanted him permanently. They wanted him, but obviously with Ten Hag joining the club as new manager, he wanted to see Garner. He's seen how he'd done last year on loan. Wanted to take him on pre-season on their tour. And then by the time that he made the decision, he didn't want Garner anymore. Forrest had already gone out and signed Froyle and Mangala and Kiyate and players like that. So... It was one of them where Forrest wanted Ghana, but United took too long, so Forrest moved on. And it could be another one of those situations. Forrest won Henderson, United are taking too long on signing the goalkeeper or sorting the hair out, whatever they're doing. And Forrest then could move on to a new goalkeeper. But let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are, whether you think Henderson's worth it, whether you think United are taking the piss a bit, and um, who would you go for if Henderson doesn't come through the door as our number one? Uh, it'll be interesting to see. But anyway, like I said, drop the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, see ya.